Thank you, Mr. Agnew. Well, Chairman, when Martin Housling and myself agree on something, the Commission really should take notice. And we're talking about uh, this European Patents Office decision, and, and they've effectively created a precedent because they've said now, well, you can patent a trait and not merely the variety that happens to exhibit that trait. And that trait, after all, existed out there in the wild world. And th there, are th there are three points that spread from this. One is the ethical point that, that patents on the natural world should not be possible and natural evolution should not be constrained by commercial incentives. Then you've got the legal point. This distinction, as one or two people have already said, has now blurred, sorry, this decision has now blurred the distinction between discoveries and inventions. I think, Mr. Houtmer, you mentioned that right at the very beginning. And actually, it's crucial. And if we adhere to this, it makes the whole business and patenting actually a lot easier. Then you've got the, the commercial point that the decision undermines the open source nature of plant breeding and small medium enterprise plant breeders could be excluded from developing innovative varieties of strategic patents, meaning commercial power, become concentrated in the largest businesses. And I'm sure Martin is very worried about that. None of us want to see that. And I'd just like to give an example from the past, perhaps, where agriculture has really benefited, benefited from a natural trait. And that is standing power in wheat. As wheat yields got bigger, and uh, we had a wet summer, the wheat would fall over like that. And that was to everybody's detriment. The wheat lost quality, it lost yield, the harvesting was a lot slower and more difficult, and it was a very useful trait. But supposing the, the breeders who happened to have incorporated that trait into their variety not only wanted to patent the variety, that's fair enough, but they also wanted to patent the trait of, trait of standing power, agriculture would have lost out because everyone would have had to have gone back to that one variety and they would have held the industry to ransom. Fortunately, it didn't happen. And just thinking outside the box a little bit, in, into industry. Uh, a man invents a lathe. I hope the interpreters can, can manage the word lathe. A lathe is something you use to fashion wood and metal in, in, into other objects. And so the person who invents the lathe obviously wants to patent the lathe. Everyone would agree with that. But should he patent everything that is made with a lathe? And one would say, no, he shouldn't. Innovation could well be blocked in the creation of, of new varieties. And this is something a small uh, plant breeder has asked me to read out. I'll just start it again. Innovation could well be blocked in the creation of new varieties. And the Commission should do nothing which has this effect. Thank you. So now I think... It's over to the European Commission again. So the floor is yours, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and thank you to all the members of the European Parliament who uh, just expressed their views on this uh, specific issue. First of all, uh, I would like to draw the attention of the honourable members of the European Parliament that since 2012, I do not think that the Commission has just wait and see the situation to see what will happen. I just would like to remind you that at the time of the resolution, there were some pending uh, decisions before the enlarged Board of Appeal, and uh, there were first the first decision on the tomato one and broccoli one, which was welcomed. The decision was welcomed in the resolution table by the European Parliament, and this decision clearly excluded the, the, the patent on essential biological processes. And then after that decision, there were second uh, action lodged before the enlarged Board of Appeal, which was the, the patentability of the products obtained by essential uh, uh, biological processes. And this decision has only been issued by the enlarged Board of Appeal in March. So then, if you want to blame the Commission, it's only as of March, because before that the decision was pending. And then, of course, it's quite a short period of time. And in between, we have not, again, wait and see the situation. We are clearly set up the expert group who is working very hard on the different issue. And I can tell you that there are some vivid and thorough discussion on this specific question. The Commission has done different uh, initiatives, and we are now reflecting because you are asking for clarification, modification, but in any case, even if the decision would be taken to modify or to clarify, it will take some time. 
because you cannot change from one day the, 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 the legislation in place, and especially because it's the uh, legislation of the EPO. Then, before deciding on what will be the, the, the decision on the com of the Commission on that, in a collegial manner with all the different DG interested in this area, we are considering a short-term uh, decision, and you refer to the pilot project that I mentioned, which could consist to try to establish clearly the prior art in this area to avoid that patent could be granted for inventions which are not novel or inventive because some plant varieties have already been granted and then it was already disclosed, you know, the merits of these uh, varieties. So it's clearly a way to, practically speaking, try to improve the situation and to avoid that uh, plenty of uh, patents will be granted in this area. But of course, even if it's practically speaking, it will be, it will be helpful, it will not uh, sort out the question, the, the question of principle whether a patent could be granted on products deriving from essential biological processes. And again, I would like to uh, underline that it's clearly the intention of the Commission to carefully monitor and to assess the situation and to take a decision uh, early next year. I would like, if you permit me, uh, Mr. President, to give the floor to my colleagues from uh, DG Santé, who would like also to add some clarification on this issue. Thank you very much.